If you're new to video directing for church services, this is the video for you. I'm gonna teach you all the basics, simple tips that you need to know to get started. What's up everybody, my name is Chad Vegas and I'm so excited that you're here. Being a new video director can sometimes be a bit overwhelming, but don't worry, I've got you covered. Whether you're just starting out or looking for new tools or ideas, I've got some great tips that I can't wait to share with you. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. First and foremost, it's important to be organized and prepared. Make sure that you have a clear understanding of the vision for your church and what they want out of live streaming. Establish specific roles for people who will be responsible for the live stream, like service producers or show callers, which are people that call out over comms what's gonna happen next in the service when it's live. Content producers, streaming producers, who are in charge of your streaming encoders, an online engagement team that will chat with those watching online and offer prayer and technical help if needed. Then you wanna make sure you're communicating with all team members to ensure that everybody's on the same page. You might even wanna consider that everyone get together for a pre-production meeting to go over the service flow. Definitely utilize tools like Showflow or Planning Center Live to keep everyone in sync while live. Second, pay attention to details. Ensure the lighting and camera angles and other technical aspects are well planned out and executed. Test everything. Make sure that your cameras look good, they match in color and white balance. Are your audio levels set for video playback? Are your camera ops up to date on what's happening in service? Is there a different song? Is there a message illustration? Third, be flexible and adaptable. Listen, things can change quickly in a live broadcast, so be prepared to think on your feet and make changes as needed. As a director, you always want to be at least two steps ahead during your broadcast. Even if you have a show caller, make sure you're always looking ahead. Fourth, communicate effectively. As a director, you must communicate with producers, pastors, crew, and other team members to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Make sure that your communication is clear and your team knows what's happening in each broadcast segment. You also want to communicate with your pastor or your lead and ask them to update you on any changes that could happen on the day of your church service or special broadcast. Fifth, stay calm under pressure. Directing a live broadcast can be stressful, so it's important to remain calm and focused even in high pressure situations. Always keep a steady tone with your crew and a calm demeanor. You can always freak out later. Think of it this way. If you are a father that doesn't want to scare your child, you'll try as hard as you can to stay calm for their sake. It's the same with your crew. You don't want them freaking out or locking up because you're freaking out. And I got one more bonus tip for you. Focus on creating a culture of honor, respect, and a safe place for your team to be who God called them to be. Spend time with them outside of the church, create a community night, have fun, break bread, so that they can get to know you and your heart. This will make your team more cohesive and willing to help you achieve the goals of your church and yourself. Treat them well and invest in them by giving them tools to do their jobs better, like YouTube tutorials, e-courses, or podcasts. So these are just some tips on what to look for and how to plan for your live broadcast as a new director. I wanna hear from you. What's been your biggest challenge as a new or seasoned live video director? And if you're enjoying my content, hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time, never forget to worship first and capture second.